Now that we are ready to rig the basic shape of our avatar, we need to be aware of the features available in the current version of Honk 3.0 and how they work. Every time you launch Honk, you will need to select Calibrate Eyes to center yourself. If you move your Honk window, you will need to do this again to recenter. If you haven't already, add your basic layers to the project. First, we will assign which layers our images will go on. Layer 0 is the lowest layer, and layer 5 is the highest. Now, we will add a look box. Select the layer we want to move and press look at cursor. There are four options here. Look box, look circle, look tall oval, and look wide oval. I almost always use look tall oval as it gives me the widest range of motion for my needs and seems the most lifelike. I have multiple monitors and hit the edges the least with this option. Play with them to determine which works best for you. For creating motion, try reducing the look box on the layers you want in the back to create the illusion of depth. Now we will look at Rotate on Speech, which has six settings ranging from tiny bit to ultimate. This rotates the layers around the center of the screen. I tend to use this for small motions, such as controllers. You have tiny bit, low, medium, high, Stream and Ultimate. Lastly, we'll look at Character Bounce Amount, which is the simple slider in the bottom left that controls the entire character bouncing when we speak. This is completely personal preference, you can always just turn it off later. You are able to move the layers around in Honk if you're not happy with their exported spot, but I advise against this whenever possible. It has been buggy in the past and unreliable. If you accidentally move something or find it's not working, we will need to revisit the .json file I mentioned earlier. Inside the characters folder is a .json file that can be opened with notepad for tweaking. We can see all of the settings we have assigned to the layers and adjust accordingly. If you have a layer you've moved but it's messing up, find and copy position xy set to zero and replace the values for the bugged layer. Next we will talk about animation and having multiple emotes.